Hey guys, welcome back to Furniture Flipping Teacher. If you're new here, my name is Lauren and I am a full-time kindergarten teacher who also flips furniture to earn a profit that I put straight toward my student loan debt. So today we thought that it would be fun to go up north a couple of hours away from where we live and we are going to do some thrifting and we hope to find some amazing treasures, some awesome furniture, maybe even a few more staging items. So let's get going. So we drove north up to Sioux City and we are here at a Goodwill. So we're gonna see if they have any good furniture finds. Let's go check, looks like it's right back there. So let's talk about chairs real quick. All right, so you guys know I love a good velvet chair. Not like this. This is way too out there. When you're looking for chairs, you want to make sure that they are a color that is desirable. And I don't know about you, but I would probably never desire this in my house. And I don't know if anyone really would. Um, any of the patterned chairs are really very outdated and even ripping the skirt off isn't really gonna save them. So. I'm gonna have to pass on these. If they were a different color, they're in really good shape, but it's just not gonna be able to be sold again, so. Stay away. Stay away from floral. At least until it comes back into style. Which I don't know if that's gonna happen. Not too much furniture here. A lot of the times at Goodwill, they have things on the tops of their racks, like def different decorations, things like that. So I'm just kind of doing a little scan. I don't really see anything too crazy. So their shop number one was a bust. They're closed, but it says they're open, so. On. And it looks like a complete mess in there, so I guess thrift store number two is a bust as well. Here we are at thrift store number three. Wish me luck. I hope this one's got some good stuff. Finally some furniture. prices because that's the next thing once you find the furniture you gotta make sure the price is right but I see a chair Love the color. Look under here with me. So, picture this we rip off the skirt. Then that's showing. Not a huge fan of that. I could have gotten some people that show me that they do this and so they like just tack it under there, staple it under, so that's an option. Um, but still, with those wood pieces, like, to me, that would look funny too. Plus, really dirty, Oh, Dang it, I was hoping to come away with the chair today. Well, it's another bust, but hopefully we'll find some at the next one. All right, another one here. I have a feeling Goodwill's gonna pull through for me. I can 
get a lot of stains out, but I don't think I can get permanent marker out. Ew, no. What? That's just a little too dirty for me. Another best of a thrift store. I keep getting these chairs where I'm like coming so close to wanting them, but then they're like too dirty or don't really work out with what I want to do with them. So on to the next one. All right, we're back here at Gospel Mission where we just actually left a few thrift stores ago. I've gotten some ideas from some of my fellow FFT supporters. So I'm going to go back and grab this blue chair and since I got these great ideas I think I'm going to be able to flip it and make some profit. Just one more little once over of the chair. So it's called a swivel glider. I've never seen this contraption before but I'm thinking I'm just going to take that right off. I'm going to put some legs on it, nice mid-century legs and then cover up the wooden part with some macrame from a fabric store. We'll see what it turns out like. We had actually left here and then went to a different thrift store, but then we came back. But before we came back, we called and we said, what's the price on that? Because there weren't, there was no price tag on it. So they said $10 and can't really go wrong with $10 if my plan doesn't work out or if this area that's pretty dirty doesn't come out. It's only $10 lost out. So I'm gonna go ahead and pay for it and load it up. Uh, yeah, Habitat's really good. Yeah. So Habitat and Salvation. Oh, Habitat's really close. Yeah, it's really close. Yeah, you're not far from it at all. In fact, I'm going there next. Oh, yeah. Um, and down towards the Rising Restaurant right behind you. Oh, right on. Thank you. Cool. Check out those places. Hi there. Hello. We were your callers. Okay. Okay. Ten dollars you said. I, right? I yeah. have the secret code. If you, if you, they told me to <laughs> tell them the secret code when we came in to collect it. What's Sioux City rocks. <laughs> <laughs> and then they said if I say it right, I get five more dollars off. <laughs> Ten good dollars. There you go, dear. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. You guys have a good afternoon. Yeah. You too. So we're here at the Salvation Army because at the last thrift store, someone recommended that we come here because they said that there's a lot of chairs. So that sounds promising. Let's go check it out. Two seconds later. Okay, the girl who was telling us about the Salvation Army confused us and confused, I think she was confused. We came in here and this is like a Salvation Army center not a thrift store they used to have a thrift store but then someone else moved into their thrift store so that's what that girl was talking about so we're gonna head there well we have another one to stop by first and then we're gonna head to the other one it's called gospel mission thrift store as well all right last thrift store of the day let's go see what the habitat's got As you can see, there's not really too much furniture here, so another bust. Pretty old. Let's 
So with the hardware, how does that work? They're all just kind of... They're 50 cents a piece, so um, we try to get them sorted into bags. Uh -huh. So all the bags should have some that are close to matching. Like okay. They should all match or be close to matching. Okay. So then um, you can just take whatever you want out of the bags. Okay, so just 50 cents per... per okay. Yep, per door pull. Awesome. Hardware is not cheap, so when you can find it for 50 cents each, that's a pretty good deal. Keeping in mind that you can always spray paint it later. Picked out 20 pieces, so 10 bucks. Well, we got some hardware, so at least I didn't come out empty handed of this thrift store. We're actually gonna go to one more after this, but then we're seriously headed home. All right, now we've truly got our last thrift store here in Sioux City. So we're gonna go see what they've got. It's a little bit of a smaller place, but I'm actually looking in there and eyeing some chairs. Another weird looking rocker down here. I recently sold a chair that looks similar to this, not exactly. Dude, I got a question for you, young man. You're in, I saw you at my other store taking pictures. What's going on? Oh, uh, we just thrift furniture, so we're right, cool. we hear good things about these right, stores. Okay, that's that's what I want to know. Yeah. <laughs> Check my competition or not. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're from Omaha. Yeah, yeah. You been all three stores yet? No, we actually were trying to get to the one that you just said. <laughs> anyway, you get on this bypass over there, 20 bypass over here on the highway. Uh huh. You just go across to, over to Nebraska. Okay. You go down to uh, Dakota City, uh, Dakota Avenue. That's the first exit, and you go down there to 27th Street, and then head. Uh, that'd be what west again. Okay. And you run right into it. You'll see it. Walmart. Okay. All right. But it's, so it's about the size of this one. Should we just type in like Walmart and then we'll Yeah, Walmart in South Sioux City. Okay. So as I was saying, <laughs> um, I sold one similar to this one just a week ago. And so I really like the shape that this is in. The other one was more of like a flat arm here where this one has more of a curve that does matter. And then also like I just showed you underneath there, I don't think this one's gonna be doable. Cause think, you rip off that, that all is showing. That's not able to be covered up. So unfortunately I'm gonna have to pass on this one. So as you heard, Neiman was talking to the owner of these three thrift stores. And so he actually was able to tell us where the third one was that we've been looking for all day. It wasn't on Google Maps, but we're gonna go over there now that we know where it is. And that one's a little bit bigger, so I think it's more promising. And this is the one where the lady said there were a lot of chairs. So let's go check it out. All right, this is for real, for real, for real, the last thrift store that we are hitting before heading on back to Omaha.
<laughs> Dud. Dang. Well, the prices are just a bit too high here, and plus there's nothing really that catches my eye anyway. So we are gonna call it a day. We got the blue chair and we got some good hardware. So we're gonna head back home because I've got some people that are interested in a piece of furniture that I am selling. So that is all for the thrift stores today. We made it home. We've got the hardware here and I just wanna show you guys some of the hardware that I ended up with. So these two, or actually three, are very mid-century vibes that I'm feeling. So I'll probably spray paint those to clean them up a little bit, but I'm excited to use those. And then the rest of them are mostly just these other gold ones that I think I'll spray paint as well. But um, I just liked the shape of them. And again, you cannot go wrong with 50 cent hardware as long as it looks stylish and remember you can always spray paint it so why not definitely check out your habitat for humanity restore i know they are literally everywhere in a lot of cities so also we've got this blue chair in here this one's gonna take a little extra work um definitely more than i preach of how easy these chairs are this one's not gonna be that easy just ripping off the skirt is not gonna cut it on this one. So stay tuned. I will be flipping this chair in an upcoming video. So be sure to get subscribed down below and put those notifications on because you really want to make sure that you are here for that video. Just thrifting was not the only reason why we went up north a couple hours. We actually have a surprise for you guys. And this is an FFT purchase. That was just made today, guys. We got a truck. We planned on this and we've been talking about getting a truck and we came home with it today. Take a look. a new truck thank you guys so much for the support and following along on our journey can't wait to make more memories with our new truck see you on the flip side